Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So right now we're going to be doing the Stranger Things Mystery Lunchbox Giveaway. So we do have a winner. Um, only one person chose the right one. Um, and we'll talk about all the cool ones that were put on there. And then some that, that at least I don't remember seeing on there just kind of as a flashback. But this is the song from the winning game. <laughs> so, not sure if that rings any bells uh, or not, but we do have a winner. Stranger Things Mystery Lunchbox Giveaway. So, that song belongs to a video game. Now, there's a lot, I think, I, don't, I didn't do a count, but there's probably 30-something games that came out in the 80s. So, um thought it was cool to do that you guys seem to definitely enjoy it and it brought back a lot of memories so the winning video game is joust 1982 is when it came out and that is the arcade version of joust does that bring back any memories for any of you guys that's some Oh, memories. 1982. Damn. So, I remember playing Joust, and I would spend a lot of money on it, just like Dragon's Lair. I think back in the day, Dragon's Lair, I, I want to say it cost a dollar. And when Dragon's Lair came out, I think in 84, something like that, I don't remember the date, but when a dollar was a lot of money back then. I mean, that's literally like three or four bucks today and you would die like that so <laughs> it just stole our money as kids um so anyways getting back to joust one one subscriber chose that so michael b you won so please send me your mailing address to freaky funko friday at gmail.com and yes i'm going to be changing that that uh email as well just like the name of the channel <laughs> so um, so congratulations, send me your mailing address so I can get that mystery box shipped to you. Now I am doing another giveaway. I'm going to make a separate video for that. And that's going to be the video following this one. Okay. So I'll be doing another giveaway. Um, I hope you guys like it. I, I think it's pretty cool. So before I do, I want to mention some really cool video games just to kind of do a flashback. Um, so I didn't write down, um, subscribers names because uh, some of these, you know, had multiple subscribers, but Tron. Oh, do you guys remember Tron from the 1980s? This was an old school one. I forgot about this one, Paperboy. That's, I used to play Paperboy all the time. Frogger is a classic. Um, Metroid is a classic. Tempest is a classic. Contra. Oh, when you would flip and do it, when you can shoot your gun while you're spinning. Oh, I died so many times playing Contra. That was a tough game. That was a really tough game. One of my favorite games growing up, Ultimate, of all time, still to this day, Dig Dug. One of my favorite games. Of course, Dragon's Lair. You know, that was in... Um, I can't make it that easy on you guys. Come on. Uh, that was in the movie. Uh, uh, Qbert. Oh, my God. Like, when I saw that... My mind exploded. Like, Cuber, are you kidding me? Like, wow. That that brings back some memories. Um, somebody mentioned Punch-Out. Um, I'm not sure if that was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I don't remember if that came out in the 80s. Punch-Out, I'm not sure. But um, uh, Galaga was another one, another popular one. So I wrote down four other ones that I thought were really cool and these are games i played quite a bit in the 1980s uh pole position do you guys remember that race car game um gauntlet that was a big one duck hunt of course that's a classic and then this one one of my favorite games to play it's not my favorite game of all time but i love playing it excite bike so those are some that i don't remember seeing anybody put down on the you know 
uh, on the description below. But those are some really cool classic games. So for some of you, I hope this brings back like it does to me, man. It brings back a lot of old memories. I mean, Qbert, Pole Position, Metroid, Frogger, Paperboy, Tron, like Excite Bike. Um, just, I mean, Dig Dug, Contra. I mean, wow. I mean, <laughs> so many great video games were made. I mean, don't get me wrong. My favorite game of all time to this day is The Legend of Zelda. To this day, hands down, my favorite game of all time. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I have the classic NES, so I play it. Um, and uh, I absolutely love Legend of Zelda. The best game, in my opinion. I mean, old game, right? There's so much games nowadays that have great graphics in it. But back then, like, this, is, I don't care about the graphics. Of all time, Legend of Zelda just because it's such a classic. That's my personal all-time favorite. Dig Dug comes second. Um, Joust was one of my favorites, man, but that was a tough game. That was a very tough game. Um, and it sticks in my head very clearly because I could never win. I would get so frustrated. I remember kicking the arcade. I think it was at Peter Piper Pizza back in the day. Um, I, think, I think it's at Chuck E. Cheese, too. I don't know if you guys have any of those in your town, but, man... Those were the places to hang out when I was a kid. So, But that wraps up the video, guys. I just wanted to go down memory lane on some of these old video games. Um, and, and by the way, Funko, if you're watching, which you're probably not, um, <laughs> but these are we, we named some pretty cool video games that you, you can make some good Funko Pops off of right here. So um, if you can get the license to some of these, I would definitely make them because these are some cool, uh, cool games we just discussed. So... If you're watching anybody from Funko, um, got some great, great list we just gave you. So um, we want to see some Funko Pops on all these characters. That would be awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I do have a drawing that's coming on the next video, so stay tuned. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. I got more Funko stuff coming. Um, Funko's dropping some new stuff, so I want to talk about that. And I'll see you very soon. Please be kind to one another. Be safe. And I will talk to you guys very soon. My next video is dropping immediately after this one for the next contest. So stay tuned for that one.